Boodle boing Hello everybody and welcome back to the internet. It is a Thursday and we are on it. How are you doing? And um finally, finally, I I said it would happen. I knew it would happen after the Smash reveal. They have revealed the next update for Animal Crossing. It is coming out on the third of July. We've just got a little bit over a week for that to come, and it's gonna be adding swimming and diving and collecting sea creatures to the game. Um, as well as some um, new other little visitors, it seems. And then there's going to be another update in August as well. So very, very exciting stuff. It's what I needed to keep me going. <laughs> I, ju I just knew that something was going to be coming. And I wasn't sure what. But yeah, oh my gosh. Excellent. So that's going to be coming out next week. I guess that means I'm going to be doing like a 100 and six days in a row of, of Animal Crossing. Just so we can get up to that update. Cool, cool. Very normal. Um, yeah. How are you how are you all doing today? How's it all going? Why is your sub badge all gooey? Well, Twitch have added a new thing where you can add flair um to tier two and tier three subs. So you have the sub badge as tier one. If you're tier two, the sub badge gets smeared in butter, and if you're tier three, it gets dipped in syrup. So um there you go. Um, I might slightly um, scale back the butter effect a little bit because it does kind of obscure the number. Um, but that's kind of what we're going for. Um, also, um, that's the same case on Fiona's channel. Right now on Fiona's channel, if you have a tier 1, it's a goat face. If you have a tier 2, the goat is raising two arms in the air. And if you have a tier 3, hellfire has appeared. Um, so, <laughs> so that's great too. Um, also, as a result of that update as well, so, uh, there is five emote slots now for Tier 2 and Tier 3, both on my channel and Fiona's channel, on every channel, um, every partnered channel, I think. Um, so, I've added um, some golden emotes to the Tier 3 thing. I've added some Animal Crossing villagers to the Tier 2, two thing. I admit I was in a, in, a, in a bit of a rush just to fill the slots up. I will probably redo those ones. Um, unsure what you guys think about the gold ones. I saw a lot of people using the gold fish, but I don't really know if the gold waffle or the gold jerry would be used that much. Um, I've also got a gold duck. <laughs> Very good pun on that one. Um, <laughs> So yeah, um, we, we might we might change them around a little bit. Some might stay, some might go, some might just get actually redrawn. Um, we got a lot going on. Um, Fiona also has a lot in the pipeline too, but those are going to be completely new emotes. So those are going to take me a bit longer to do. Um, but there's some things you guys have requested, like Fiona Chef Kiss, which may now, for example, become a tier two emote on Fiona's channel now that there's lots for it. So lots of lots of exciting stuff coming. But obviously, it's like. 16 new emotes to draw for both our channels so it might take me a while to do them all <laughs> so yeah um but yeah i think it's cool i think it's cool it was i always thought it was a bit weird that like if you if if you were one of the people that were able to pay like 25 dollars a month and all you got was like one extra emote it didn't really seem worth it before like it it was a bit strange so it is good that they both have now actual like purpose to it like an actual reason to it other than just if you have a lot of money <laughs> um so yeah i mean appreciate Hello. every single bloody one of you that was doing a tier three before and um i hope now that you if you still have that tier three i hope now you're actually getting some use out of it <laughs> so yeah um what else we got going on oh yeah there's another thing as well um so tier two and tier three emotes now I can I can choose to add a modifier to them. So you know the channel point modifiers, um, and how you can like put sunglasses on emotes and stuff like that. Um, so there's a way I can do that where if you're tier two, for example, I can put the sunglasses modifier on that tier, so only tier two people can put sunglasses on emotes. Um, but both, but both, <laughs> both me and Fiona looked at that and and saw that and thought. Nah, so it's just on channel points. You can just put whatever modifier you want with channel points. You don't have to be a tier 2 or tier 3 sub just to put some sunglasses on an emote. That's the only feature we haven't added. Um, but yeah, the rest are, are um, the rest is all, like I said. Yeah, so today, a short stream again, I know, I know, uh, but Fiona is going to be doing Stardew Valley um, either at 5 o'clock or 5.30, so we can only really go until then anyway. Um, yeah. Cool. 
cool. Um, also, I will say, if you don't like, sorry, I just remember this as well. If you don't like that your badge is now all buttery and that it's really obvious that you're a tier three, you can actually turn it off. If you go to your chat settings and then go to edit your uh, your appearance, that you can choose to hide the flare. So if you just want to look like like just normal badge and you don't want butter smeared everywhere, you can turn it off. Um, so there you go. Um, right, yeah. So let's get into some. Um, I was about to say Stardew. Let's get in, <laughs> let's get into some Animal Crossing today. We've got Eugene moving into the island. I think it can actually happen today. Um, and we got a bunch of stuff to check out, as we do every day. Maybe see if some green mums have grown. Um, and then, um, yeah, short, sweet stream. But I think we might also gear up to um, sort of make a sort of... Uh, how do I explain it? Like, by by the dock, by the pier, we could make a sort of, like, diving pier. Like, it, with this update coming, with this swimming and, and diving update coming, we could, like, actually make a, an area specifically for that maybe i don't know we don't have much room to work with on the beach but i think we could do something like that anyway um let's get let's get into it shall we because i've been waffling for ages um there we go boop so you should be able to see it i think you can hear it as well excellente so i'm wondering um as well they've announced a few new pokemon games coming that are sort of free to start like pokemon cafe mix and um also the pokemon moba are going to be coming out on on the switch uh, i think cafe mix is already out and the pokemon moba will be out at some point so i'm wondering maybe that's something i stream too because i'm actually weirdly interested in that moba and seeing how that works maybe maybe moby anyway let's go <laughs> doing, doing. Do, 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 do. Okay. um <laughs> There we go. Hello there, everyone. Right now, Waffle Ham, it's 4.14 on Thursday, the 25th of June, 2020. Huh, really isn't any news to speak of today, but did anyone else catch yesterday's cooking show? The spiced potato salad they featured looks so delicious. I'm thinking about trying out the recipe. Okay, Isabel, Isabel, it's not news. Come on, just <laughs> it's okay. Next Friday there'll be news, and she'll be like, "Oh man, you can dive now." There's an otter here. Yeah, I don't know if you guys saw the trailer. I retweeted it earlier, um, but like, there's going to be new visitors to the island. There's going to be new decorations, like mermaid-themed items. There's going to be new things to donate to the museum that are all like sea creature-based. It's all very, very exciting stuff. So like sea and enemies and stuff like that. So yeah, looks looks pretty cool. And just yesterday I was saying it'd be cool to have like a treasure chest thing. Like an item, like pirate themed gear. And then they just revealed like Pirate Gulliver is going to be a thing that can wash up on your beach. So um, that's exciting. We can maybe actually do something with that. Um, what we got? Coco has sent us a letter. Zozo, you're the best. What are you up to right now? Something fun. I bet. You always have the greatest ideas. I was thinking of you. I guess I'm writing to ask if we can plan to do something together soon. Yours truly, Coco. Okay, we'll just ignore that. Um, Queen Mums? No. Nothing. Nothing happened. What the heck? What the heck? How do I make this happen, guys? Why won't, why, why won't, why won't, won't? I just want green mums. We might have to we might have to import them. <laughs> okay. Well apparently that counted as a mile thing. <laughs> and there's a fossil right here too. <laughs> okay, right. So one thing we want to do is we now that we've moved um Eugene's house. Well, okay. No, we've moved Leonardo's house. Okay, wait, no. Hold on. Oh, this is the whole system. Hold on. So, <laughs> we've moved Leonardo's house to where we want Eugene's house to be and then we'll kick out Leonardo and invite Eugene into the island and then we can move Judy's house to up where Eugene's house was 
and then we can move Kiki's house down to the witch area and create a nice little cauldron area for Kiki. And we're good. That's it. That's the whole story. Yeah, we're getting there, step by step, slowly but surely. <laughs> oh my gosh, this actually looks amazing. Holy crap, this came out really well. I like this. I like this a lot. Okay, okay. Can we, um... Okay, we do need to do just a little bit of tidying up here. One moment. Also, Eugene's house will look different to this, but I think it will still fit in. So, I, I did the path slightly wrong, I think. I think if I just, like... Maybe if I add more dirt. Okay, that looks a bit better. Yeah, I like that. I like that. And if we actually... Wait, no, I can, I can do that like that. There we go. Yeah. 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 I think if we... Maybe if we just don't have those tiles, maybe if we just have it as the stone. I don't know, I feel like we're almost there, but it's not quite right, you know? Maybe we do need the maybe we do need it to connect. Like that. Yeah, I think yeah, I think that's what we go with. Okay. I think we will add the tiles to it as well, actually. Almost there, almost there. I knew we'd need to fiddle with it, bleh, fiddle with it a little bit once the house was actually in place, but we weren't far off. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Perfect. I like it. Maybe we also just, or maybe like a stepping stone or something. Hmm. Or the rubble. <laughs> that actually kind of works. Okay. Wait, would that work if I put that like under the... Oh my gosh, this would work, right? No, wait. Wait, wait, wait. I just picked it up from there. How did... <laughs> yeah! Oh man. That looks great. I love it. I love it. Okay. Okay, I think I think we're good. Now we just need to kick Leonardo out and put Eugene there instead. Oh, some shell over there. Try the rubble on the tarmac. You want to see if it looks like a pothole? Okay, that's a fair idea. Oh wait, no, I can't put it on the tarmac. The tarmac's a custom design. What do you mean? <laughs> no, <laughs> wait, that doesn't work. If I do this. That happens. <laughs> okay, um, that doesn't work. <laughs> oh no, I've ruined it. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I don't like how these paths are all, like, here, though. I'm wondering if we... Like, sort of start the road here a little bit. Like, maybe this whole bit can be the road. I don't know. I wish we could actually make it look like a road, but having all the custom designs for, like, all the, the lines on the road and stuff, it was too many designs. I just didn't have the space for it. I wonder if they're going to add more design slots. Mm, that doesn't look bad. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing with this specific area here. With like the bench and the random teacup and the tulips and the road here. Like it's like we're almost sort of onto something but it's not quite right. Maybe if we extend the market a bit. 
like maybe push these cliffs in just a, just a tad and not have the space here at all because the market just flows right into it. Huh, I'm not sure. What do you guys think? Could be like a loading bay. Maybe. Because cause this is the middle. This is the actual middle of the path here. Of the market, even. So, like... Maybe the loading bay could be to the side like that. Maybe. I don't really know what I'm doing, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> not right it just doesn't flow it just doesn't work and I can't figure out what's missing I can't figure out what I want to do with it um, I think what I will do is um, hold on sort of my inventory a bit here because yikes uh, blah, blah, blah. I've got a bunch of fossils to assess okay I, I think we need to pick up these tulips <laughs> and I don't have the space for it so hold on Maybe instead of Zoe Peanut, I should just have Zoe Yum. And it's just Peanut saying Yum. Yum. What would I do? Okay, so you know the tier 2 emotes that I've got right now. And I've got Coco, and Pecan, and Peanut, and Hazel. Those are literally just their faces that I ripped from the game and made transparent and turned into an emote. I want them to eventually, once I'm done with all the work, um, be actual hand drawn emotes that I've drawn myself of them with various expressions and an actual use <laughs> in the Twitch chat. So for Coco, I think it's kind of a no-brainer to use her big surprised face as a sort of Pogchamp-esque thing. Um, and for Pina, it could be her excitedly saying yum. Um, but what about Hazel and Pekin? I think Pekin is maybe like a smug could kind of work, but, I don't, I, but that's, a sh that's not quite concrete and I don't know at all what to do with Hazel. You know, wow, but we already have an emote of someone saying wow, and it's me. She does have a great eyebrow game going on, that's true. Oh, is that what I did? Is that why that's different? Okay. I wondered how that was happening. There we go. This is very strange. I don't know what I've done here, guys. I don't know what I've done. What if I just didn't use this at all? Didn't have something underneath and just use the um, the car thing as a the car thing, the road, um, <laughs> as an actual tile. That's a bit weird. That's a bit weird, I don't know. See, I want it to look like... Like it's part of this path. Guess to do that, I I need this to be. Ah, oh, what do I need this to be? What am I doing? Oh, 
Right, so that'll all connect up like that. I mean, maybe that works. To something. It's it's almost there, but not quite. <laughs> no. Unless that came down, like... Oh, I don't know. Like that. Guys, help me out here. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm kind of just spitballing, just kind of randomly putting some tiles down, and I don't know if it looks good or not. I'm just kind of going with the flow here. I don't know what I'm doing. No one knows what I'm doing. Great, that's reassuring. That's good to know. Um, <laughs> okay, uh, hmm. I want it to look like a... I want it to look like a thing, guys. A thing, you know? I want it to, I want it to look like a thing. So, uh, can anyone help me make it look like a thing? It's so hot today as well. I know, I know pretty much any UK streamer or even European streamer you're watching right now is probably complaining about the same thing. Um, but it's especially difficult because the USB fan I usually use, I have to unplug when I'm streaming from the Switch because it's the only way to capture it. <laughs> Suffer for your entertainment, guys. Anytime I'm doing a Nintendo Switch stream, you know that I made a sacrifice for you. <laughs> no idea. Absolutely no idea what to put here. <sighs> kind of half a mind to just move the cranny. Because I think the doors being there makes me think I need a path leading up to the doors. But that's not right. If I could have the cranny here, oh, but then I'd have to move everything. <laughs> Literally everything. What if I had the cranny at the top and I had Abel's at the bottom? Would that fit? The cranny's a bit longer than Abel's, isn't it? Yeah. Hmm. Oops. Brilliant. There we go. Hmm. Maybe we just have this all lined up, just all connected. Maybe. I haven't even checked the shops or anything yet. My, my entire project today has been how make road work.
so weird to only have one area of the island that actually has a road. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> What's the actual transparent icon here? The transparent pixel, even. Because that dot is really noticeable now. And is there a way I could edit the design so it's actually better than that? Hold on. Okay, it's in the bottom. It's in the bottom there. Okay, what if I did this? Ah, right. Uh, see, now that works great here, but then as soon as you get here, it's like, wait, what's happened? Hmm. I guess, yeah, I need two different designs. One that's for the horizontal and one that's for the vertical. That's awkward. That's so awkward. Oh my gosh, I don't know if I have the design space for that. I kind of need... These are all used... Every single one of these is used. Wait, not that one. Aha! Wait, and not the map either. Oh, but the map's so good. Ah! Uh, that one. Okay. See, this is the problem. You're all talking about how, oh yeah, and then I need the cross sections, and I need the corners, and I need the curves. Exactly. So, uh, how do I ha- <sighs> It was easy to just have one, just blank one, than to try and do, like, a, a whole thing. Oh my god. Uh, let's try it. Let's try with just two. Let's see what we can do with two. So, I know, I know. We're just gonna do this. And change that one. And you're right, there does need to be a gap in the middle. So we did it like that. And then if we do this one like this... Bear with me. Bear with me! Oh god! It needs to be a transparent pixel, because if it's not transparent, it'll just take up the whole square. It won't blend into the tile underneath if it doesn't have a transparent pixel. Okay, but I think... Maybe we're onto something? Hey! Okay! Maybe we could somehow squeeze this in with just two tr I don't know. This <laughs> is sort of working-ish. It's not great, but it's... The fewer slots I can use, the better. And if I can get away with only using two slots, then hey, I'll take it. Not sure what will happen when we come to this corner here. I could just leave it like that, actually, that kind of works. That's a shame. 
I mean, I could just do it like that, and that works too. Great Island Zoe. Thank you. Wait, could I make actual parking spaces with this? Nope. <laughs> I feel like I could if I if I had more brain power right now. <laughs> Beer? Did I just say oh beer instead of oh dear? What is going on with my brain today? gonna be happy with this there's no way to make this work with just two slots I think I need a third slot that's just like a blank one like the one we had originally because I mean this sort of works maybe it's the best I'm gonna be able to do it's not terrible could be a lot worse It's not perfect. It's not how it would actually look in real life, but it, it it's close enough to the to the impression so that the impression is made. Like Yeah, okay. Fine. It's not quite what I had in mind, but in a weird way I think it actually kind of works. Just going to quickly finish off the rest. I guess, um, yeah, I guess one more here. Yeah, right, sure, okay. How do I, oh god, how do I rotate car? Oh no. Oh, please, do this for me. <laughs> okay. <Woo. laughs> I was worried that wasn't going to work. There we go. So that one's just like there. This one can actually be parked in a space now. That one's just like refueling. But this one can actually be like parked like that. Huh. That actually kind of works. Huh. I think, um, I think the lines are slightly too wrong. Wrong? Long. <laughs> I'm saying rhyming words today instead of the word I actually mean. <laughs> What's going on? So if we just quickly just bring this in like... One, two, three. One, two, three. And then same on this one. <laughs> That's red. That's <laughs> okay, so just as a pure proof of concept, right now, this should look good. And you know what? I think it does. You know what? I kind of like it. I think what I'll do here is use the other one, though, just for the end of the road here. There we go. In fact, if we did what we did with the... Yeah, there we go. Holy crap. I think that kind of works. Yeah. And I kind of want to do the same here, just because this is the entrance, and you wouldn't park in front of the entrance, so it would actually look like this, and then that could also be where, where you refuel. That kind of works.
What do you think? Did we actually turn this into something good? <laughs> did we actually do that? In fact, if I make this like a refueling bay instead of a parking spot, that would look even better, wouldn't it? Here we go. Yeah! Huh! I just surprised myself by doing something good. <laughs> um, okay. You know what would actually look even better? We can get away with still having transparency on it, but also make it white. Because if I do this... If we just have two... Two transparent pixels on either side of the white line, it will look like it's blending into the black. So look, we still got one here and we still got one on the other side, but it's a way to also make it look like a proper painted line. I think this could work quite well. Yeah, look at that! Look at that! Oh my gosh, wow! Okay, do that again for the vertical. And boom. Oh my gosh, look at that. It looks like an actual like painted line now. Just with that one small change. Okay. Okay, this is good. Wow, I did not think we'd be able to like make the road look like a road today with just two design slots as well. Somehow it worked. Crap, still no idea what to do with this bit, but um <laughs> Also, it's a shame we can't, like, there's no incline that would look like a road and then we could, like, carry it on up here, but... And then over the bridge, but, yeah. A second parking lot? That's a lot of parking lots. And it always seems to go that you don't know what you got till it's gone, so I'd rather not do that. We could make a sort of... Uh, make a something. We can make a something. Okay, we can make a something, guys. Look, that road thing happened because I was just spitballing ideas and it just kind of, like, developed. So maybe the same thing will happen here if I just do this. See how the see how it looks better now. <laughs> I think we're gonna curve this one. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Hold. Hold fire! Since swimming is coming soon, it could be the town swimming pool. I mean, it's more of a paddling pool. It's not really... <laughs> not exactly going to get your, your 25 meter badge here. Just be like a burning stack of tires, maybe. That's an idea, I guess. Just need something there. Hey, something. Hmm. Could I add a zebra crossing? No, go away. <laughs> Thank you. 
this, this took so much effort just for two design spaces. I'm not going to overcomplicate it more than I need to. Um, but this could actually kind of work. Just a small, quaint little park. Very, very little park. Where you can just come and feed the birds. Also, I think we can bring this cliff out. Mm -hmm. Didn't quite mean like that. Um, <laughs> it does kind of look like a bus stop, doesn't it? That was not intended. Notice I haven't started on the dilapidated train tracks yet. Oh my god. Have you seen? You saw my design slot, Squid. Okay, if I'm doing dilapidated train tracks, I need a corner piece, I need a long piece, and I need an across piece. Other people say horizontal and vertical. <laughs> I'm not sure where I'd put it on an island, you know? So I think we'll cover this up for now, until we have something to replace it with. Turn the market into a train station? Stop! No! <laughs> I'd love a sort of like, dilapidated train station look. That's like, next to the castle. Like, every any attempt at industrialization in the area around the fairy castle just leads to, to failure and unlucky circumstance and everyone ends up abandoning their projects. So there's just like an abandoned train station and like overgrown like office building and stuff because any attempt at modernization at the Fey Castle, the fairies do not allow it. I think this works for now. The, the bird bath isn't exactly what I want here, but maybe we can find something we can quickly make that would work better. Better. We could... no. <laughs> I mean, we could! <laughs> Drinking fountain kind of works. That just kind of works quite well. Can we put manholes on the road? Would that work for corners? If there was a manhole there? Hmm. I don't really have much I can actually craft here. That's way too big. <laughs> can make more of these stools. I, I do need a lot more wood to actually make those. Hmm. Okay, we'll, we'll just try that for now. Hold on. If I put a manhole like right here on this corner bit. Yep, that's exactly what I meant. <laughs> oh my god. Hey! That's not bad. If we make like a couple more of these. Quite like that. Um, okay, so if we hold on. Hi Fiona. Fiona just came into my room and made alien noises. Why are you why are you raising why are you wiggling your eyebrows at me? <laughs> Let's 
this kind of works. Oh, if we had like a chessboard, and we had like two little chairs and a chessboard and a drinking fountain, that'd be nice and quaint. That would fit in quite well. But for now, yeah, we'll leave it like that. I think that's enough to just give it a something. All I wanted was a something, and we have a something now. So, um, right, off we go. <laughs> now what do I do with the bird, the bird bath and coffee cup? Perfect. Now what do I do with the bird bath? <laughs> I don't like how this ends. Maybe this should end straight. Like it just curves awkwardly and it's like, well where do the cars actually come from? Like is it, li uh, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> Like, there's three cars on the island, and Eugene has one. Fine. But, what, they just drive to the cranny and to the diner every day? <laughs> and that's it? <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. We go with that for now. I've got lots more stuff to do on the island today, and we've got, like, I don't know how long until Fiona does Stardew Valley, so we should probably um speed things up. Oh, Sahara's in town as well. Oh, my gosh. Okay, there's a lot to do. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Let's check out the cranny. Bunk bed. Ooh! Ooh! I like that. Sure, there we go. We have everything else. Uh, nope. Nope. Speed run. Man, I'm so excited for the update next week, though. You know, it's weird because they data mine this stuff. Spoilers. Um, back in back back a few months ago, um, back before the lathe stuff was data mined, um, and the museum upgrades. So it's it's if this is the exact same data mine, that means like vegetables and and harvesting will be coming in like September, uh, which is pretty pretty hecking exciting. Um, and it also means there might be might be Brewster's Roost. There might be some other stuff coming soon. So that'd be great. What have we got on the on the tailor shop menu? Menu? Do you say menu? Catalog, that's a better word. <laughs> what have we got on the clothes menu? Huh. Actually, I don't think there's anything we want there. Wait, no, those those sandals are perfect for my fairy prince. Never, no, 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 come on. No unnecessary, no unnecessary. But the pads go. No, no, we're fine. Everything's fine. We don't need any of this. We don't need any of this. We're free. We're free of the curse. I definitely won't be buying something off stream. It's fine. God, it is so hot here. It's ridiculous. I think, I feel like yesterday was hotter. I could not sleep at all last night. It was crazy. I had to just fling all the blankets off. Just kept rolling over. Just was up until like 4 a.m. Just being unable to sleep. It was ridiculous. Anyway, we got some fossils. Maybe we got some new stuff here. <gasps> we actually do! Wow! I wasn't expecting that. We've just three fossils, we got something new. Holy crap, okay. Hoo hoo! What did we get? What did we get? Two new things! Oh my gosh, two new things? Holy crap, we're getting there guys, we are getting there. Oh man, that means we only need like eight more, I think. Eight more fossils and we're done. Getting very, very close now. 
Nice. Oh my gosh. Of course, we say we're getting close to finishing the fossil wing, but literally a week from now, they're going to add a whole sea creatures catalogue to the museum um, with sea anemones and starfish. And I think the manila clam will actually be part of that as well, weirdly. Um, <laughs> we've got lots of those already. Okay, right, let's check out the... Speaking of catalogues, let's check out what we got on the um, terminal today. Stuff, that's fine. Seven days in a row streak is back. Hell yeah. Wrong menu. <laughs> you know, actually, maybe not the wrong menu. A quick look at that menu there, and I saw like the lifeguard chair and stuff. Like, we do want to make a sort of dedicated diving area. Blues? <gasps> I don't think we have the KK Blues. Ooh, let's get that. Right, well, we are doing pretty damn well here on this island, and I am super excited for what's coming up next, next week. Um, but, before the next week update, we... You're not meant to still be here. I actually totally forgot about inviting Eugene. Um, <laughs> okay, um, that's fine. We can make that happen. Um... <laughs> I was going to say, before the next week update, we still have something special we want to do on the weekend, don't we? We, before June goes away, because it is Pride Month, um, we do want to celebrate Pride on our island. It's why we've been working towards making that rainbow garden. It's why we have the whole, like, soundstage set up. Um, yeah, there's a lot we want to do. Um, and we've only got a couple more days to do it. So, I think we may have to ask to have some green mums imported, honestly, because it's just... It's just not happening for me, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, okay, let's go to the campsite. Let's invite you... Oh, oh that's a very noticeable empty space now. Huh. I, I actually kind of miss Tasha, I'm going to be honest. But no, e Eugene, Eugene for now. Wait, I have to... Oh my god, I always forget I have to go to the terminal first. I was just there. Oh, uh, it's fine. While we're here, we can quickly um, drop off some stuff. Because I need space for Sahara as well. Sabertooth Skull sounds amazing. Um... That should be enough space to pick up all Sahara's goods. So, yeah. I'm aware of the fact that Fiona is going live um, with Stardew. Maybe a bit of marbles before Stardew. Feel free to like multi-stream it. You can go over there, type exclamation mark, play to join marbles if that's what they're doing. Um, but I am going to have to be live for at least sort of 10, 15 more minutes because we've still got a few more things to sort out here. Okay, Eugene is today the day. Now, I don't know how it works, because I know you have to, like, invite them three days in a row. Um, but is it in a row, or is it just three days? Because we've already invited them three days. Now, if we invite them on this, the fourth day, are they still going to want to move? I'm assuming it's fine, right? Sure. And remember, we're trying to give him a sort of Johnny Bravo Elvis impersonator voice. Which, um, when he immediately talks German, oh, sorry, French, um, <laughs> it's very difficult to get into the groove of. So I just have to go, well, thank you very much. Oh. <laughs> right, I'm in the groove now. Eugene, guten tag. That's French for good tag. So what's going on? Yeah, buddy? Whoa, you're putting me on the guest list for the campsite. Well, how could I say no? Just give me a few moments to compose myself, okay? 
Eugene's not very smart, guys. <laughs> Time to learn French from Eugene. Oh my god, can you imagine? Wait, this is my house. <laughs> Where am I going? Now, again, I hope this works. I see no reason why it wouldn't. So forget about inviting villagers, isn't using the amiibos a good way of getting free DIY? Yeah, it seems like on the third day they always give you a DIY that you don't have and then ask you to make it. That's been a recurring theme for us with all the ones we've done. Maybe. Hey, thanks for calling me here to the big show. Been waiting for my shop for a while now. A long time. You ever notice how taking a step away from your everyday life makes you appreciate it that much more? And then you can't wait to get home only to remember why you were desperate to get away? Fun stuff! I'm not saying I can be bribed with fancy gifts, but I received something pretty cool here in Waffleham, and now I want to move to this island. Right, so yeah, I think how it works is there are three days. Um, the first day, he asks you to make something that you know. The second day, he asks you to make something that you know. And then the third day, he asks you... Or, or she, whoever you're inviting, I think this is for all amiibos. Um, the third day, they'll, they'll give you a recipe and tell you to make that for them as well. Um, and then... This is the fourth day now, so he hasn't given us anything or told us to do anything. He's now just allowing us to invite him. So I guess you can only do it three days in a row. But I don't know what would happen if I now, like... So we've already invited Tasha to the island with Amiibos, right? Tasha's now left. If I put the Tasha Amiibo in again, does she then have three more things for us? Maybe, maybe. Anyway, you should live here, Eugene. Seriously? Well, I'm flattered. I guess we should go talk to resident services to see what we can do, see? I don't know why I always go into that. <laughs> Wise guy, eh? <laughs> Bad news, bud. I talked to resident services, and the real estate sitch here is no bueno. There's actually no room left to build new houses. Can you believe it? How could such a thing happen? Don't worry, though. I'm nothing if not a persistent koala. Are you alright with me negotiating with someone who already lives here for their spot? Go for it. Great! Oh wait, yeah, no, yeah, I did get two things. I got the wooden duck as well. I forgot about that. Okay, so I guess it's just random. He'll just give you a recipe and maybe you have it, maybe you don't. Um, okay, okay, yeah, so let's, let's invite you. Who are we booting? Okay, okay, Leonardo, Leonardo. Yes! We can do it! Yes! Leonardo, huh? You sure? That's right. That's right. No hesitation. Just uh, get rid of him. <laughs> Leave it to me. I head right over to Leonardo, and I'm playing hardball. Is hardball a sport? I thought it was called baseball for some reason. Yeah, yeah, buddy. I'm gonna make him an offer he can't refuse, see? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, talk to Leonardo. Turns out he was about to move away anyway. Seems like no one on this island talked to him much, you dig? So now we can open up that artisanal key lime pie shop together. Yeah, buddy. Wait, I might have been talking about that with someone else. I've made so many plans already, see? Start over. I'm Eugene. Yo, Zozo. I can't wait to move in and get this soon-to-be legendary partnership going, Zozo. Yep, yep. Excellent. Oh my gosh, it's happening. Holy crap. I do feel like I have to add C to the end of every sentence. Maybe when we become friends with him and he asks to change his catchphrase, I can just make it wise guy, eh? Or C? Or hey, pal! <laughs> I like it, I like it. I don't know why- I, li I like how we went from Elvis impersonation to Johnny Bravo to member of the Koala Mafia. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that is Eugene. They are going to be moved in tomorrow. In fact, I think that immediately puts Leonardo in boxes, like right now. Um... Oh, Kiki, what are you- what are you doing here, Kiki? This, this isn't your scene! <laughs> yeah, well, bye Leonardo! <laughs>
<laughs> Send the other Teenage Mutant Turtles my regards. Oh, Nightjar thinks it's because Kiki finally had a feline friend and they were saying goodbye. Well, don't worry, Kiki, because we'll have Stinky move into the island soon. <laughs> Right, now where was Sahara? It's the last thing we have to do today. And then we'll head on over to Fiona's channel for some star- Ooh, star- star- Ooh! <laughs> there we go. Um, and yeah, maybe we can make this area the diving spot, you know? When they add diving next week. We've got the lifeguard and everything. Maybe. Now let's see what we got here. Yeah, I'm super excited for the swimming, for the diving, for the pirate Gulliver. Because, I, like I said, I was talking yesterday about adding pirate-themed items. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be a good one. Plus the fact that we know there's going to be even more coming in August as well. Very exciting. And then, if the data mine's to be believed, and so far it's been true, there's probably going to be like harvesting and farming coming in like September or autumn at least. Also, fruit basket sounds pretty cool. There we go. Anyway, what we got? Are you sure about the underwear on the head? I checked and it looks more like a luchador mask. I thought the same thing, Species, when I, when I just looked at it, but I read the actual Wikipedia... Wikipedia? I read the actual um, Nook Wiki... I don't know what it's called. Animal Crossing Wiki article, and it specifically says that it's his underwear. There we go. Wolfie, you've made a huge mistake. Don't watch the anime. It's... In Incredibly bad. <laughs> Read the manga. It's so good. There you go. Texie in chat. Stinky is a cat that wears a wrestling mask made of underwear. Brilliant. <laughs> If you're enjoying it, that's fine, but there will be a point where you realise the anime is starting to really, really drag things out as they get closer and closer to the manga. And at that point, it was after, like, Water 7, where I just I just switched to the manga and didn't look back after that. There was a really, really ridiculous period a couple years back where it was like a 20 minute episode and 10 minutes of that episode were the intro song, the outro song, the recap of the previous episode and the preview for the next episode. And so you only got like five minutes of episode at the, <laughs> of the whole thing. It was ridiculous. <laughs> So yeah, I would very much recommend the manga, and I know, I know it's a big thing. They are literally, this year I think, we'll be on chapter 1000, which is crazy. But, okay, I, I know, maybe I'm biased, like, obviously I love it, but this, this story, these 1000 chapters, 980 chapters, whatever it's on, it has been the best thing I have ever consumed, the, the best media I have ever consumed. It, it is such a good story such good characters there of of the whole like what 20 different arcs there's only like one that was a dud uh, there was only one that sort of dragged on a bit too long at the dress rosa arc um, but but that's such an incredible record for 20 years of a story 1000 chapters of a story and there was only about like 30 40 chapters that I was kind of like eh on that's incredible like, I I have loved this story since I was, like, I don't even know how old I was. Like, I, I've, I've been reading this for, like, 20 years. This is crazy. Like, <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, well, no, I haven't been reading it for 20 years. It's been out for 20 years. I only started reading it at Thriller Bark. So, actually, I've only been reading it for about, like, 10 years. But still, um, I love it. I love it. <laughs> It's made me cry, it's made me laugh, it's made me, like, be in shock at a page. It, to, to have, like, a page and to read it and then to, like, be, like, 
having to catch my breath after because I'm like tense about turning over to the next page. Like, holy crap, very, very few things have done that to me. Like, and I know at, at the start you might think it's so silly. Oh, it's a, it's a little kid that ate a rubber fruit and now he can stretch his arms. <laughs> and it's like a pirate shonen manga. And like, you know, you immediately see like Dragon Ball Bleach Naruto in it. But, but give it a chance. Get going. Let the crew build up. And if, if you get through the Ainis lobby and the, the and the Water 7 arc and Robin's story and, and you don't feel something, then then that's not the story's fault. Because, my God, that, that made me cry. That made me want to just read this until it's over. I am, I am committed to this for the rest of my life. Like, oh, my gosh. Which is why I'm really excited for Pirate Gulliver. Just to, just a segue and bring it back in. Pirate Gulliver in the announcement update coming next week sounds like it could be a lot of fun. Lots of cool items from him, perhaps. How many arcs does One Piece have? Oof, I like twenty. And and there's like uh, no spoilers, but there's like a, a sort of a sort of jump in the middle, like, kind of like what Naruto did. Um, and then, then every, everything since that jump has kind of been like a whole connected story and that's been going on for like 400 chapters now. Like, yeah. Oh my gosh. So we're still trying to get our tokens here. <laughs> Yeah, no spoilers, damn lagged. I, I don't want to spoil it for anyone that hasn't seen it, but that thing you're talking about, I, I could not believe I was feeling that much emotion for for a boat. Um, it was, man, that whole arc, that, that Ines, Ines lobby, I don't know how you pronounce it, Ines lobby, um, that whole arc was just full of just, yeah, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Um, all right, I still need some more. <laughs> It's the best arc of anything, of any manga I've read, of any anime I've watched. That that arc, the emotion in that arc, the characters in that arc, it was, it sold me. I, I know, I know that what's weird is that's like 400 chapters deep at that point, so you would have had to actually read quite a lot to get to that point. Um, not that it wasn't good before that point, but that point just sort of like took it over the edge, you know, set it apart from everything else I've read. I would definitely recommend it. And I know it's like a shonen, so it's like, you know, it's marketed for like teenage boys and stuff like that. And there is a lot of that in the in the early days. Um, but I would say where they are right now, the variety that's on their crew, like everyone has a favorite. And it's so good. And you, you just, oh man, this whole journey, I just love it so much. Sorry, I realized I've just kind of done a big marketing pitch for One Piece out of nowhere. But man, it really means a lot to me. Like this, this is like this is a series that I will take with me for the rest of my life. However, however long it's got left in it, I am I am there, day one, buying every chapter. Like I, I I have to. I I I love it so much. Anyway, let's see what we got. Um, we got a sloppy rug. Brilliant. Um, we got a white heart rug, and we got a um. Oh, what was the other one? Wait, did we not buy the? Wait. Wait, did I never buy the... Oh my god. Wildflower Meadow. Blackboard Wall. Sea View. Gravel Flooring. Did I not buy the small rug? I guess not. Okay, hold on. <laughs> My pockets are too full because they want to give me a ticket too. We'll just drop that on the floor, that's fine. It's so awkward because it's such a 
there's so many good moments that, that I could spoil for a new person that means so much to me, but I can't talk about that. I'd love to do like a One Piece podcast, genuinely, something like that, but I, do, I wouldn't want to talk about things and spoil it. Like, I, I'd want people to experience this fresh, you know? Oh, I, don't, I can't even explain it. So good. Maybe I'm lame. Maybe there's like way more like higher caliber literature and manga and stuff out there, but One Piece was the one that, that clicked with me. Anyway, there we go. We got a yellow massage mat. Brilliant, that was worth it. <laughs> so let's head home. Um, and we'll probably wrap up there. Fiona has been live for a while. They're doing some marbles right now. Uh, feel free to go over there and join in on that. We're just going to check out these wallpapers and stuff. And then we'll, um, yeah, then we'll, I guess we'll, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Well, Fiona won't. Fiona will see you, like, right now, but... <laughs> right, what we got? So, Wildflower Meadow. Nope. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I do think what we had is more appropriate, though. Yeah, there's just something about that grass that just looks better. Um, blackboard wall. Oh, like a cafe! Oh, I like that. Oh, that's pretty cool. We could put that in our kitchen and that wouldn't look that bad. Okay, and the sea view. Oh! Speaking of One Piece, what if- oh my gosh, what if I turned one of my rooms into like a One Piece, like, like, shrine? <laughs> Put the straw hat in the room and stuff like that, oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, gravel floor. Oh, actually, that doesn't look that bad. If, if we weren't trying to make it like a outdoorsy type look, that would be quite good too. And then we got a bunch of mats, that's all fine. Yeah, nice. Well, I think our island's actually coming together really, really well. I'm really happy with how it's all coming along. You know, we had some struggles. We've had some temporal troubles. Um... <laughs> But yeah, oh my gosh, we are we are here. We are living it. We are loving it. All that remains is for me to get those damn green mums. It's the only thing I'm missing. I'm really happy with what we've done with Eugene's house. I'm really happy with how we managed to fix that road today as well. Really impressed with that. Um, yeah, I don't I don't think we have the storage space to store all this stuff. Maybe. Oh, maybe. Oh. Oh. Come on. Oh. oh. <laughs> okay, we already have that one. Also, I realise that's yellow message mat, not yellow massage mat. Um, <laughs> yes! Okay! And because we already have the message mat... There we go. Nice! We'll wrap up there then. Thank you so much for watching today, everybody. This has actually been a really, really fulfilling stream. I was able to just talk about my love for One Piece. You know, we were able to just chat, nice and chill. Managed to get my road sorted thanks to the help from you guys guiding me in chat. It was good. Um, it's always a shorter stream on Thursday because Fiona's going to be live now for a couple hours over on their channel. Um, but yeah, tune back tomorrow for day 99. The 99th day in a row of streaming Animal Crossing, if you can believe it. Um, where, yeah, hopefully we get some green mums. We'll be setting up our Pride Parade. And then over the weekend, day 100, day 101. Incredible. And then next week, I guess we're going even longer than that because we want to check out that new update too. So I think it's going to be a good week for Animal Crossing. Um, yeah, so tomorrow, 4 o'clock, another update. But also tomorrow, 6 o'clock, don't forget, we do our big co-op stream as well. So we'll be doing more Kingdom 2 crowns. And um, I think we... Are we on Island 4 now? I forget where we left it last time. Either way, either way, we got some good stuff going. So, yeah. There we go. You guys are amazing. Right, I'm going to head over to Fiona's channel now. I'm going to take you all with me um, to join in on the raid. Enjoy the marbles, enjoy the stardews. And um, I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you once again for all being your amazing, awesome selves, for keeping me company. It is a exhausting 
day uh, not just like mentally uh, uh sorry not just physically but also mentally like it's super hot but also there's been a lot of like stressful things going on and yeah just having you guys keep me company for an hour or two it's just yeah it's nice thank you guys have fun with fiona and i'll see you again tomorrow there we go goodbye